feel like it's crooked. Why, hello, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so we are here finally filming the Q&A that you guys actually sent us questions back during the 12 days of Vlogmas. But we took a break. We enjoyed the rest of our holidays together. And then now we are actually on our anniversary trip vacation and I figured while the kids are sleeping what better time than to try to knock out these questions that you guys sent us. So first question, how if at all did having kids change your relationship with each other? Ooh, we're starting out strong, we're starting out deep. Interesting. It's completely different. It's like night and day. How? <laughs> It's just on so many levels. Like, I mean, when you don't have kids, you can just go, you know, do whatever you want, whenever, however, you know, like you can go on dates super easily, you know, when you have kids, everything is about the kids, you know, you don't have time for anything else. And even if you had time, like, you, it's, it's harder to go out on dates and travel with kids and stuff. That's one of the reasons I picked this place, because it actually has daycare built into it. Basically, it's just not about us anymore. It's about, I mean, it's not about like, you know, like us as a married couple, it's about us as a family. Not that it's all bad. I mean, it's still pretty nice to be raising a family. Nice to be like taking care of someone external than just us, I suppose. I make the most of it though. You yeah, know? I think it changed our relationship. I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, I think it changed our relationship for the better. I mean, obviously when you have kids, you're creating a family, like yeah. that's something that I don't think like it's irreplaceable but I think um it changed our relationship with each other that it's just like we have to put in more work yeah for each other mm -hmm. and I think we especially probably learned that this last year I think just with obviously adding two kids to the mix dealing with deployments and stuff like we had to reintegrate and like it was different this time around Okay, next question. How did you guys meet and how long have you been together? What better question than to answer? I realize this we're on our anniversary trip. Couldn't we just give them the link to the time you answered that question before? <laughs> People are gonna hate you. I know. Anyways, so we have been together for eight years. A little over eight years. How long have we been married? And what did we just celebrate? It's like six. Yeah, right. We have celebrated uh, seven years. So we just celebrated our seven year wedding anniversary. And when it comes to how we met, um, long story short, because we have answered this one. So it's one of those like go back into past videos and stuff if you may. But people are new. People are always new. We met online. Very long story short, we met online. I feel like that's what all the young kids are doing now anyway, so it's really not that like, we don't have some crazy story or anything like that. What do you both do individually for self-care? I feel like this is what you need to work on. Yeah, I don't really do anything for self-care. Yeah. All my time is on family. I don't have a life external to that. <laughs> it's kind of sad. You need to do some self-care. Yeah. This trip, I was telling him, because this has been probably one of the best vacations we've ever had. It's been very relaxing, very rejuvenating, but it's been a lot of, like, self-care. And I was telling him, I was like, we really need to prioritize, like, for both of us doing things that are self-care. Um, I practice self-care because my mental health depends on it. Like, I notice that I'm just not as good of a person when I don't get to have self-care. For me, self-care is being able to take the time to like do my nails or like take a bath and just check out from life, um, doing my skincare and things. So like all of that to me is self-care, it's filling my cup. Um, but this one here needs to work on that because it is very important. I'm realizing, I think especially all of us probably during this whole time, times of isolation and whatnot, that you've got to figure out what fills your cup and what you can do for you. And I think I'm gonna get this guy after <laughs> after this trip. I 
think it'll be beneficial for us to maybe integrate doing things that are self-care maybe together or something or having like Sunday resets is what I was telling him where um it's both of us being able to like go and like take that bath and like do things for yourself you get to choose your next destination you get to like request you, you put in like a dream sheet typically and they'll either give you an assignment or they won't so some people get lucky and some people don't and if anybody is new to our channel uh, my husband is active duty military so that is what that question entails and why what he's answering mm -hmm. is basically would we get to choose the next place we get to live if again if you're new to our channel um we are actually stationed overseas currently in italy it also depends on branch of service and your career field and stuff like that so it varies there's one that I'm like, I'm gonna answer that towards the end because I feel like it's always it's always the questions, but we'll get in that. What's your favorite things to do as a couple for date nights in or out of the house? I think we need to work on in the house things. We're actually, we've been doing that lately and I feel like it's not bad. I personally feel like sort of date nights in the house have been, we put the kids down, we pour a nice glass of wine. Yeah. We've both been into watching um, like a show or a sitcom together. So we've been watching Superstore. Yeah. Um, and just kind of having that time together. I find that to be kind of, I feel yeah. like our in-house date nights. Out of the house is a different story. We need to start like getting up earlier and drinking coffee together. Just saying. <laughs> uh, out of the house, we definitely could work on that. It's just, it's hard because yeah. we are living overseas. We don't have like, you know, yeah, parents and things really like that. Exist. Yeah, it's like we don't have parents and stuff to be like, hey, come watch. But like when my mom did come to visit, um uh, what has it been now probably two well, she came to yeah ago. a couple months yeah. ago my mom came to visit us and that was really nice because like she watched mm -hmm. the kids while we went and got to have a date um and that was actually i think our first date out yeah in like two years um here it's been kind of nice i feel like we've yeah. kind of gotten to have like dates like yesterday daycare is nice <laughs> yes we, <have laughs> we went and got massages <laughs> yeah we have daycare at this resort and so we had uh gotten massages mm -hmm. and facials we went to the spa today the yeah adult, today we adult went to only the spa. section with the sauna and stuff like that tomorrow we're probably gonna be at the spa like we're definitely soaking it all in of any sort of daycare aspect that we've had i guess we've done that too when we went to the other resort so when we went to another resort this summer we did the same for a couple hours like we just hung by the pool side together and um i mean we try to just make the most of it but it's just not your typical lifestyle like if we were back in the states and had like family and stuff close by to be like hey can you watch the kids and we have tons of friends and stuff that will watch our kids it's just um i think anybody's gonna like understand this but there's a difference between when you can just like hand your kids to grandparents and stuff versus your friends like i always feel guilty or like i can't relax the same way handing my kids to friends the way that i do my parents and not to say that i don't trust people it's just more like i'm like here watch your grandchildren like yeah this is your grandchild versus like i feel terrible if i hear that you know dante's been grumpy or something and like acting up and it was a friend you know doing that favor sorry mom i know mom's, mom's gonna be like what do you think the distance caused by deployments hurt or helped the marriage or both mm -hmm. a little bit of both Mm -hmm. I think overall it's helped, you know. I don't know, there's, there's usually like a, it's, it's weird, there's like a reintegration period, you know, when, mm -hmm. when I get back. <laughs> yeah. Because like you, you kind of get used to just being apart for a while and then you have to figure out how to live with the person again, mm -hmm. you know. But, yeah. I think it especially gets hard because... <sighs> So we've had two like reintegration periods, but like they've been very different because like the first time he left, we had Orion who was one and a half, two? No, I'm trying to think when you left. Two. He was like one and a half. Two yeah, and he half. was one and a half when you left because he turned two. Okay, so he was one and a half when he left, um, two and a half when he came back and it was still just the one child, but there was like that excitement of like him coming back us all packing up, leaving, changing our routines. And so I felt like that was like a smoother takeoff landing things because we were all doing it together. And then like this last one, you know, he left and here it was 
two babies, you know, this time. And one of them was like a newborn. And so then he comes back and it's like really truly what people talk about where like I then had, you know, here's sort of what I've been used to. Like I've just been used to this is what's going on in the house. This is how it's been with the kids. It was also super hard because we dealt with obviously a pandemic in the midst of this. Um, it Like it was just a rough, I felt like you had the excitement of like him coming back. Um, and then I think it just like took a minute because I know for me personally and what I have to work on is it's and I do like I know it and like we we will literally like discuss this like even in our um we're not people who I feel like we're not like fighters but I felt like even in like our butting heads it was like me needing to admit like you know hey I know that you're not gone and it's easy on you but I think it's really hard especially sometimes as like the stay-at-home mom or like um you know wife or something that we like view them gone as if like they got to just be out at Disneyland hmm. and you know we were doing all the things and remembering that it's like I know it wasn't easy for you either to be gone from us um, but it's just both of us, I think, needing to understand where each other's coming from because it's still different. Like, it's different for him being gone from the family versus, like, me being with the family but having, like, the other half gone because Sean is a huge help and, like, he does so much. So it's really hard when he goes. And then, you know, obviously it's like you want to keep these routines and you want to keep these things going for your kids. But then it's exhausting as well. And it's like remembering that I'm like, okay, don't be mad and don't be like, oh, you're just at the pool or you're doing this. Like, must be nice to like be by <laughs> yourself to remember that that's hard for him too. But I think also for just both wise, it was like also for him to remember that like, well, but at the same time, like it also was like very hard for me to consistently be on. Like there was no, there's no down period when you are the stay at home mom with kids when your spouse deploys, like there is no downtime. And especially I think depending on the ages, I think when the kids get older, it'll be different, but like, he left and we had literally a newborn. My newborn got COVID, I got COVID. So it was just, it was exhausting. Like I was pretty tapped out. So this last deployment or whatever has been the hardest, but like when you went TDY, like then he left um, TDY during this and stuff like that and like reintegration and stuff, totally fine. Um, I think just given the circumstances and outward things, it can be both. It just, but I think that the, moral of the story and if there's anybody out there and you guys are a young couple or a new couple or anything with this is like you have to communicate and work on it but also know that this is normal yeah. like I think the people who act like they just come home and like it's just rainbows and butterflies and just everything just goes right back to normal the whole time I think are fooling themselves it's just like when you go from dating to marriage or when you go from no kids to one kid, one kid to two kids. There's always an adjustment period. You figure it out together and then you go. I feel like they meant what's something about, about Sean, Sean that, that you, you adore? adore? Oh. You think I'm a good dad? Well, yeah, but I mean, it shouldn't just be about <laughs> your fathering. Um, I love that Sean just has such a big heart. And I think that is what then contributes to you making such a good dad, such a good husband. Like he's very selfless, um, very into like putting others before himself. And that is something that I just, I adore. Okay, and then the question that we got multiple of, uh, do we plan on having any more babies? Will there be any more babies? Maybe. You know, um, are we having any children in the near future? I can say for the near future, no. Um, but I, we both feel like we're not done. Yeah. <laughs> really? Don't say. <laughs> um, I think Dante's a lie, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> he needs to get to like I think he needs to get to be at a point where he's saying full on words and maybe even some sentences and things before I even contemplate it because he he's just a lot he is a lot of um attitude mm -hmm. and I just can't imagine dealing with his current tantrums and, and then having like a baby who I'm also having to like hold and take care of will be he's the kid that is not good about leaving places he can't even walk down the hallway yeah if so he, like if you're like stop <laughs> and yeah. just stop yeah we're like okay come on and then if he doesn't want to he stops and like he does this thing right now i mean he's the full-on toddler like <laughs> he does the tantrum of like the put himself on the floor and everything and i just can't imagine if i literally had a physical baby like you know that i'm holding or like here's stroller and like i've got a baby who needs to like eat and then i've got this one on the floor yeah. kicking and screaming um, and then poor Orion, who I feel like he tries to help, <laughs> he tries to help, but he also though, I think would feel he's a lot of emotions. And I think for him, he loves being a brother, but I think if he had two young siblings that close together and obviously both of our attention would have to be going towards the both of them, he would feel very left out and he has the tendency that when he's feeling like he's not getting the like love and attention that he acts out in a particular way so like basically long story short i just think we need to get to certain milestones of these kids before we would bring a new baby into the mix plus i also just want to work on my own um health and wellness uh anybody who's new i had a really rough delivery and complications with dante and i'm still healing from that at least now i'm on a path like positive of it um but it took a while and then right now i've just been like diagnosed with different things so it's just kind of one of those that i want to make sure that i can get my own health and stuff to the point that it needs to be to be able to like carry and deliver a baby and be okay plus my age is a factor so i just want to set ourselves up for success as much as we can before we would add another baby in yeah. all right so thank you guys so much for chilling with us uh as we answered some of your questions it's been a long time i think since we've done one of these and that's it. I don't know. I feel all awkward even. I don't even know how to exit anymore, <laughs> enter anymore, because it's been so long since we've done these. But Sean came back to the videos, guys. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, <laughs> love you guys. We'll talk to you later. Ciao.